Welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute since I've sat down and recorded a video. So my bad, things got hectic over Christmas, New Year's, you know, that type of year. I think it's hectic for everyone. So today we're doing a review on a Sol de Janeiro. I will never for the life of me know how to say that brand name, even though it's one of my favorites. Anyways, we're doing a review on a fake one that I brought from AliExpress. And I'm super excited about it. And the reason I brought a fake one is because at the time, which was just, mm, I think around end of November, just going to December-ish, I was trying to look for my fave scent from them, which is number 71, which is this one. All-time favorite, and they've been sold out of it for ages. So I was like, well, let me see if AliExpress has any fakes. We can't call them dupes because they are supposed to be exactly like the original. The scent is caramelized vanilla and macadamia. This is my favorite. I feel like most people like, I think it's 62, which is like similar sort of color, but it smells very different. I feel like that one's more basic. Like this one, you either love it or you hate it. For me, it's like definitely up there with my favorite scent of all time. It's it's just giving like caramel and like a little bit beachy but not too much but it's like sweet and it's nice and the fragrance like lasts on your skin for ages later which i love anyway so i've, I've obviously got one since i brought the fake one but this is the fake one comes like this this is legit how it came literally falling out the box so it's the exact same as the real bottle does like on the front of the box. Well, let's have a look anyways. This is what she looks like. So definitely very different to the original. This is the original obviously and this is the fake one. Uh, I was expecting it to look like this because I did get another scent from AliExpress as well because at the time they didn't have that dark purple scent released yet but they had the fake one on aliexpress so i was like let me just grab that while i'm here and we'll see how it goes and it's so good anyways back to this one i'm gonna open oh there's not even any plastic seal over it to like whatever spray it it smells good i'm just gonna spray the other one because my memory is so bad. Even though I love this perfume and I wear it all the time, I can't remember what it smells like exactly. Yeah, so it's definitely very different. Yeah, I can't even say that they are like similar. This one is very nice, but it smells more like beachy. And this kind of smells more to me like the number 62 which most people have smelt before. It's definitely not giving maca macadamia. They smell macadamia wrong on this thing. Is it macadamia? Yeah, it's macadamia. Anyways, this is kind of giving, this sounds so strange, but it kind of has like a coffee smell and it's a little bit fruity. I don't know. It's a little bit weird. It's, yeah, the more it's drying on my skin, the more I'm not really liking it. It's fine if you like maybe as like a gym spray or like just a quick beach spray. Like it doesn't really matter what you smell like. Like, you know, like as long as you smell decent, like you don't stink. But yeah, definitely not at all the same at all. This is the other one I got. Can't even see the fucking writing, but it's supposed to be the after hours one. And it's supposed to smell like jasmine and amber wood with vanilla. And I'm a sucker for vanilla scents. So as soon as I seen this, well, the real one was coming out, I really wanted to try it. So I got this one and I have smelled it before, but let me refresh my memory. This one. I'm pretty sure this one smells more like 
number 71 than the actual fake 71 did. Yeah, it definitely does. So this smells more like the real 71. It's much more, like it's definitely, you can definitely smell the caramel and it also smells a bit like macadamia as well. And then it's got like a bit of a coffee smell again, but it's much more like, not as beachy. I don't know, it's more sweet than the other one was kind of a little bit fruity. But I have worn this before, so I'll wear this the number 71 and then my Prada caramel perfume and it is the shit like it's such a good combo I love it and then obviously we'll have like vanilla um, cuticle oil and I rub that on my arms my hands and then cocoa butter as well so just you know that's that's the vibe like edible yum sweet I wouldn't really recommend the orange fake that I got, the number 71. It doesn't smell anything like it and it's just not kind of giving what it's supposed to give. But that blue one, I really like and I would buy that. I have no idea if it smells like the original because I haven't smelt that yet. But it's a really, really nice scent and it does last quite a while on the skin as well, which was like we need that, we all need that. So I'm going to link them below. Both of them were about $10 each and then shipping was like $6, $7. So not bad, not heaps cheaper so you could like justify getting one of them instead of the real one in my opinion. But I just wanted to try it and see if it was comparable or not and you know wouldn't recommend but it was fun to try and shipping only took about two weeks so if you want to check them out i definitely love the blue one but yeah don't even try the orange one because it's it's just not cute i might like fuck around and mix it with different perfumes and moisturizers and oils to kind of see if i can make it a little bit better but definitely just by itself no i really hope after spraying those on my skin that my skin doesn't just flare up with some fucking disease i've had the blue one before so i know that's fine but i don't know about that other one it's a bit sus but and it is aliexpress i don't know i thought i had never brought any like beauty related fake things like that and then i looked at my aliexpress like past orders and there was a bunch of like fake kylie jenner lip glosses and jeffree star lip glosses i think I definitely know Kylie Jenner was in there. I don't know, but it just cracked me up because remember when those were like a massive thing? Like everyone had the Kylie lip. I don't even know what they are. Like I don't even wear that shit. I think I literally just bought them because everyone else was buying them. It was when I was mad young too. So that was like a while ago. But she had those like matte lip glosses and shit and everyone was just, I don't know. I don't know, but it was funny looking back and seeing those orders like when I tried to be a makeup girl and I really am not surely because I just can't fucking do it nicely it's such an art whenever I see it on girls and it looks like you know airbrushed I'm just like damn how did you do that because I, I never can do that I just look like cakey so sunscreen and moisturizer is literally all I put on my face every day. If I do makeup, I'll just do like eyebrows, lip gloss, <laughs> and obviously highlighter. We all need highlighter. I'm also getting my eyebrow tattoo retouch up tomorrow. I'm so excited. I'm gonna try and film it if she's okay with it, and I'll check it up for you guys to see. That's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry I have been a little bit slack lately with posting videos, but I will never stop. And I am also pretty active on my Instagram. So if you want to follow me, my Instagram name is below. And I'll catch you in the next one.